Chances are you are seeing it everywhere. Day of the Dead Skulls are very popular this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Raquel, you had a chance to meet with an expert. You may have actually already seen this on Facebook, uh, but to show, uh, to show you how to paint your own mask. Yeah, not only did she show me how to paint the mask, but she taught us the history and kind of the meaning behind this great holiday. Parades, colorful flowers, candy skeletons and skulls. Dia de los Muertos is a festive time in Mexico. Typically celebrated on the first two days of November, it's a time of remembering and honoring those who have passed. Aztec and European symbolism are infused into Dia de los Muertos artwork, which has more recently taken its form in face painting. Stacy with Fun Faces and Beyond is here with us to show us how to do Day of the Dead makeup, traditionally known as Dia de los Muertos. Stacy starts the Sugar Skull inspired transformation by applying white face paint that is activated by water. I'm going to create a white base, the skull first, and then I'm going to decorate it. With the base finished, Stacy moves onto the eyes using a split cake face paint. I'm going to use a foundation brush and it's going to lay water activated makeup on really easy. So I have this travel size spray bottle and I just moisten my paint and my tools with this. Makes it very easy. The product, I'm gonna let Raquel touch this, okay. is actually dry to the it touch. Is. It's called cake makeup. And so we activate that with water. So what I'm doing is this brush is gonna allow me to pick up a few colors at one time. She then adds in traditional designs like marigolds. Sugar skulls are traditionally decorated with flowers. And this brush I'm using is called a filbert brush and it allows me to pick up two colors at once just to add some dimension in here. You can be as creative as you want with the decorative colors, flowers, and designs. I just happen to be using professional face paint, um, paint brushes, um, special tools in, of my trade. You can use, I encourage everybody to participate as a family and just work with what you have. To get the skull effect, Stacy draws on teeth with a brush. I'm just laying the brush on the lip. As it is drying, she goes back to making the decorative lines around my face. Now I'm just gonna add some leaves. I decorate with some pretty leaves. You would um, traditionally might wanna, you would decorate your physical sugar skull with leaves and flowers. And then back to the teeth. Now that it's set, I'm gonna go ahead and detail it. Using black paint, Stacy creates a skull nose. So we could stop here. You can make these as extravagant or as simple as you like. You could stop with just eyes and flowers or um, beads. I'm going to go ahead and just line some of these petals just so Raquel has a detailed look. But really where we are is kind of can sum up the tradition of this design. Add in stick-on jewels and some touches of glitter and the look is complete. To see the entire tutorial in real time, visit 9news.com slash fixthis or watch it on our Fix This Facebook page.